What is up my stupid TVs? How are you all doing? Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. We are still on the weekend. It's currently the 10th. I have a crap load of work to do in this to catch up with everyone and, you know, everything else. Um, so this is the current setup right now. I tried the assembler. Don't really need it yet. It combines two parts to make one, so I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, did a bit of exploring. Not a lot. Uh, I didn't see a lot because, you know, we're on foot right now. Ran into a little doggy. Couldn't do much with the little doggy. And uh, done a couple of hub upgrades, which we shall see. Um, we've pretty much unlocked quite a number of things. We do have the space elevator unlocked that we can start to build uh, pretty soon. But before I get into that, I wanted to redo our whole base using some foundations as well. Hopefully make it um, a tiered setup, leveled rather than flat, sprawling all over the place. Even though that's a nice thing anyway. I just wanted to see how that's going to work out. Now, I... 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 I am really bad with the whole ladder thing. I don't know how to use this ladder. Okay. Yes, I don't know how to use a ladder, everyone. Okay, so that is that. So that's the idea for today. Today, I'm thinking of just pulling everything down, keep on trying to upgrade and so on and so forth, get us up some wheels. Hopefully, we do have the vehicles um, in, this, in, in the weekend. So I'll bring you guys back with a couple of updates here and there. With some stuff and things. Off camera, I think I don't know if I showed you or not. We did um, research the, the slugs, the blue slugs. And that allows us to build the power shards. Power shard allows us to overclock anything they're plugged into. So I was low on power. Plugged two in. Pulled the uh, slider bar all the way up. It obviously uses our biofuel quicker. Yet it gives us more power from one station. So hopefully I'm going to be making more power stations. Uh, generators as well to support everything so this mess we're going to sort out these are awesome as they have their ladders you can climb up climb down and yeah I've just been doing a couple of bits and pieces manually mostly these I've just been doing manually the rest are you know I'm having them built but I'm gonna have everything built including screws and everything uh, this guy yeah this guy you it takes Two parts and obviously gives us the the thing like reinforced iron plate. You need the iron plates with the screws. So you chuck those in and it makes those. Definitely want to try to get into that. However, we might be having a... I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, so I was thinking like do we have enough nodes to attach miners to so we can make the plates, the... The, <laughs> the, the, uh, the iron rods... The screws and everything else so we probably do i mean there's definitely enough nodes around us that is for sure it's the question of getting the power to them having enough power and all that but i'm going to do all of that stuff off camera i'll bring guys back in with some updates from there so i'm going to get started and i'll bring you guys back in a mo Okay, so before we continue, I do have enough stuff to get the space elevator down. Obviously, this is not going down in the place that I want it to go, so I'm just going to put it down to see what it's all about. What else does it need? Like, you know, does it need stuff fit into it or what? So obviously, I have no idea at all. So it looks like we do have some inputs. This is this is this is this is awesome. Oh, hello, configure the space elevator. There's a thing. Oh man, that is. Oh my lord, that thing is all the way. Okay, that is why it's called the space elevator. Fair enough. So, <laughs> resource delivery game phase gnome. Delivery unlock. Okay. Um. Alright, so it wants us to make 75 of them, 50 of them. Does this thing need... Hopefully it doesn't need power, because I really don't fancy, you know, getting all that. <laughs> oh, you can access it from all over. Okay, that's, that's very good. Alright, so it needs all that stuff. 
Fair enough. Um, can we carry on with the with the other bits um, of like upgrades and so on as that is placed down? Is the question. I am still trying to figure out a decent thing for a base. I do have an idea, it's just, you know, getting the bits to go how I want them. So, can please place level 8 of phase 1? So, alright, it needs us to make... Um, a number of these. And what was it? A number of these, I think? Anyway, it's... it. Leave me alone. It's pretty doable, that's for sure. It, I mean, of, it, I mean, it's doable with what we have currently, you know, getting sorted out. Because this is this is really when you want to have a base functional, making everything. So currently we have those, some of those. What else did we need? Well, we don't need them. Right. So for the rotor. We need screws. Okay. Well, it's doable. It's just going to be a bit of manual labor. So I'm going to get these bits sorted out, carry on building that, uh, our base, and bring you guys ready when we're about to send this off. Alright, so that is those done. Let us quickly run us over this early way. This, I, I don't know. I don't know if I should have the... Because I was using the... The conveyor poles, you know, to hold this up. Well, you don't have to hold up. There's no physics in the game. But, uh, you know, as a as something different. So, I'm still toying around with that idea. Probably our power is going to be something like this. I'm not too sure yet. Everything is sort of like question marks all over the place right now. I think mostly is due to the to the fact that um, you know the weekend is going to be over tomorrow, so I've got loads of these ideas in my head yet um, such little time to experiment with. Okay, so we want to place in uh, not those, yes those. Why do I have so many reinforced iron plates? <laughs> Lol, what what have I been doing? Okay, okay, so that is sealed. And now we send it. Let's have a look what is gonna happen. Um Well, do something. Do I have to is there something else I have to do? Oh, oh, we have to send more stuff. Oh, dearie. Oh, what is this? A motor. Motor Christmas. Oh, dear. How do we do that? Modular frame. Motor, eh? Hmm. Okay, okay, so after sending that off into the spacey nurse, we have unlocked tier 3. So we can go with the coal power. I have found a little bit of coal, but I haven't found an actual mine for it. Oh, we can make a tractor. <gasps> we can make a truck station. What does this do? Conveyor belt mark 2. Transports up to 120... Okay. Uh, conveyor pole with fixed size that is stackable. Hmm. Alright, so let's get this milestone out the way right here. This is where we start to need the whole automation of everything getting done. Which, now I'm feeling like an absolute pillock because we don't have all of that automation being sorted out. But we do have some of this, some of that, and none of those. So give me a mo whilst I get those sorted out. Or we could do it like this. This does look pretty, pretty. Uh, it looks a little better than the, the what I had it, how I had it before. That is for sure. The only things that's 
eating me is this little overhang here, but it's that's okay. And I can't keep on farting around like this because I'm never going to get anywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to keep on building. We are still currently farming the resources to finish off um, the 25, uh, what you may call it's up in the, in the middle at the top there. So I'm going to keep on messing around, keep on building and bring you guys back. Okay, so let us see what the uh, stuff is going to be like once we get them in our hands. So that is done. We now have kill power. Let's have a look and see how big these things are. Oh, wow. oh, that is big. That's totally what she said and I said it first. There you go. Okay, so that is... Yeah, that is pretty damn big. So, can we now, uh, how do I, yes, can we now do that? So we have some coal over there, 200 meters, oh no, there's the coal over there, 300 meters that way. Do we have any more? 1,000. Okay, so I'm gonna go see, check this coal my my mm, coal patch thing out, and I will bring those back in a mo. Oh, this is awesome! This is really awesome. Look at the difference in in the biomes. There's different biomes and all that. That is just awesome. I think our coal is probably up here. Oh, hello. We have a a thingy. It's limestone. Hello. Ooh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so this leaves in wood. What is, oh hello there, what is this? What do you do? Please do not try and kill me. Ow. Like, really, is that, was that you? Was this, this, this you bug? Did, did, yes, that was the bug. Ooh. No. So, can you right? Can can everything stop freaking me the hell out, please? And let me just check this this glowing ball. Pick up the metal sphere. Work in progress. Okay. Hmm. And this is something. That's an alien car piece. Would you stop blowing up on me? Okay. Right. Cold. the balls <laughs> am I gonna get up there man do I need to make one of those jumpy pad things hello there's a bit of a thing going on over there can we get around to it from here okay so we have finally made it all the way up here we have a nice a lovely steep ramp to uh, climb up I did forget to bring our chainsaw I would have liked to try to have a go at those things with our chainsaw to see if it actually kills stuff but here we are, we do have our awesome coal ready to mine and take with us. The only thing is, I'm not going to be taking, or well, not going to be building the actual coal mine just yet. Still have some bits and pieces, you know, to sort out. So it looks like, yeah. Looks like we can just pop down a... Uh, Auto Miner or Mark 1 Miner. Hello, there's something strange down there. Oh, wow. This is just awesome. It's just awesome. Righty, I'm going to be our bees, carry on with some stuff. I'm going to check that out. If it's anything, I don't know, something, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so I don't know if I showed this yet, but just, you know, a word on the optimization, because they were saying that, oh yeah, further optimization will be done, but look at this, we are getting... Look at those frames! It's, it's just amazing, and then you get these AAA bloody games, and they're like, you hardly get bloody 60 FPS. But this... With all of this terrain gen and stuff, alright, there's not a lot of things happening in the background, perhaps, but, you know, 
that's epic. That that is a crap ton of of performance for such a such a game in in this its phase really. So well done there. Very good. Okay, so I can get some resources to make us one of these tractors. Let us have a look. So does it take fuel? Oh wow, it has a autopilot -y thing. Uh, how do you... Uh, yes, it does have fuel. Does it have fuel? Oh crap. Okay, so it looks like we have a vehicle menu. Um... Wow, we c it can record, what, a path? So yeah, obviously it does take fuel. It takes the biofuel, so far at least uh, it's taking biofuel. Um, don't know if it can take any other sort of fuel. Awesome. How does it handle? Oh, it handles them. Pretty damn good. Oh, that is good. Oh, this is nice. I'm liking this. Can we get any roadkill? Any roadkill? Okay, so it destroys them. Obviously we don't pick the stuff up. I'm just seeing, does it leave? No, it doesn't. Oh, this is awesome. And it has its own little crafting uh, thing. Also, if we pop around to here to open the workbench, we can also have we also have a crafting bench. So let's say if we should have, well, we do have our chainsaw with us. We do have some biofuel with us. So let if, for example, it does start to go low, I can easily jump out, chop up some wood, and convert it back into. <gasps> Hello there, doggy. There! Revenge for charging at uh, me. You seriously did not. You did not. You do. You. This does not affect you one bit. I guess not. Well, uh, so much for payback. <laughs> that didn't bloody work. Oh well. I wonder how does it handle the drops. Oh dear. Camera. Okay, so that was... Yeah. This this vehicle is awesome. It is bloody awesome. Everything in this game is awesome. That is all I have to say about this game. Is that it is truly and utterly awesome for now. We're in its early stages as well. There should be plenty more stuff to come. I know there's been mention of trains. That there will be trains. And stuff and things like that. But this is, this is just awesome. <laughs> I mean this terrain as well. I'm obviously, uh, uh, you know, it's probably handmade. But this is just awesome. Hello, what are these things? There is there's a load of biomes by the looks of things. There's just loads of biomes. Okay, there's some parts where we should not try to do the whole jumping off the cliff thing. For now. <laughs> so do we still take damage? Well, that is strange. We do not take damage. So... Ah, oh, wait. That's the vehicle health. What about our health as the player? Let's have a quick look. There's something running over there. How is our health? I think we... You know, I don't know. I'm not going to say for sure if we did um, get hurt or not. But this is awesome. I'm loving it. Oh, hello. 
Anyways, I'm going to carry on building and getting stuff sorted out. Hopefully I'm going to get the whole coal power plant done and convert to that very soon. So be right back. Okay, so that thing is big. Oh, look, how, look how pretty the lights are. They're just all bright and everything. That is just awesome. Do you know, do you, it's only now that I have noticed the moon. <laughs> God, there's so many distractions going on. Like, you're doing something and you're like, ew, what's that? This is awesome. I'm liking this. I am liking this a lot. So, we can probably go grab the coal, get that started, to be honest. Yeah. I'm liking it. This, my basey thing, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still messing around. Really, I'm just really missing. I'm just really enjoying it. It just really sucks that it's going to be over really soon. It's like, you know, really, really upset about that that it's going to be over very soon. It's like the, the time that Ares died in Final Fantasy VII. It's that bad for me, at least. That, that was one of those game moments where that literally choked me up when Ares died in Final Fantasy VII. And knowing that this is going to be over very soon is doing the same. Anyway, I'm going to keep on doing stuff, trying to fit a load of stuff in in a half hour, so BRB. Okay, so we're going to quickly borrow some power from um, our biofuel to start to power up our coal mine. I'm just going to check that out. So what we've done here, we have an epically long conveyor belt. Which we can later on start to upgrade uh, to the next tier. There's a faster one. Uh, let us quickly bounce around over here. I think I can get up from here. Although it will probably be quicker to do it by foot. Yes, let's do it by foot. Because that ramp takes quite a bit of power to go up. So we should be getting power from our, you know, bioreactors. Here we go. Here's our coal. All the coal in the world being transported for our world domination needs. Lovely. Lovely. All that clean, <laughs> that clean energy. Okay, so. It's, you know what though, this, this, I really wanted this to work, I really wanted that we could just attach it to something and have it pull us, oh man, that would have been awesome, that would have been really awesome, mind you, everything is bloody awesome already, so, so that is, yeah, I've taken it to go sort of like a long way around our base for now, it is temporary, well, this section isn't temporary, the, everything near the base is temporary though. I've said it like the um, conveyor poles to like two notches high so we can travel under. So that stuff is going to come slowly towards our coal generator. Let's just bounce down here. Love on that. There's no, <laughs> no damage whatsoever. we scoot up here? Yes, we can. Awesome. So that I haven't done much on. So this is where our cold Jenny is. And then later on, you know, I can just unplug the biofuel once this starts producing stuff. So tell me your thoughts about that. We might need two, but that's not going to be an issue really. Um, I think we can manage to squeeze another one in here if it's needed. Well, probably would be needed. Awesome! So, I'm going to wait for that and I'll bring you guys back in a mo. Epic! So, that is our coal getting sorted. This is very good. I believe this is marking uh, the extra power because we have the biofuel connected to that power line so let us remove that one right so that has been disconnected let's just see how the power is doing now well obviously you know this is only powering one thing currently 
Slow yet to move everything. And there you go, that's that's how far it dropped down. So yes, pretty much we We may need to use two I'm not sure. We may need to use two. Anyway, that's not a problem because we can easily do that. Or we can even we can even overclock this. Considering that the coal I mean it's not a finite resource. So I believe they're not finite. So yeah, we can definitely just, you know, really uh, put the overclocking stuff in this and we should be sorted with one for now. It's a damn shame that I've pretty much completed everything without using this <laughs> well, proper automation, but we shall, we shall indeed, I shall have, you know, make an, enough chests for each item and have them all processed at least. So I'm going to carry on with that and I'll bring you guys back in a moment. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I was thinking of going and going all the way up and working up the top here. You know, working as in making the crafters. But the only thing is this this smoke. Um, hopefully, you know, at some point they will look into it with the, the whole smoke, you know, passing through these blocks. Hopefully. Um... So yeah, I mean, I haven't got around to doing the crafters just yet, but I did want to point out our frames from last time we checked. It, they've taken a bit. They've taken a, a, a bit of a, a hit there and here. I can feel the, the, the radiators of my PC is just chucking out the heat right now. It makes a nice little heater during winter. So that is that for now. Um... I'm going to carry on building, obviously, and um, bring you guys back in once I've got more done. So this was pretty much just a little update. Oh, God. Ouch. Of what's happening. These I can take off. Um, so we're going to be having our inputs from out here. Uh, this is temp. All that is temp, as I've said. Uh, so this will be our inputs, our copper and our iron. And they get, you know... This is the line for them, so you could walk around here if you wanted to. And then it gets split up. So this is the middle of the whole place. So we have our iron smelters, our copper smelters. And then it's like, where should I start working on the whole crafters? Like, should I go up? Should I go that way more? It's like, I don't want it sprawled out all over the place, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know. And then building up there, that we, we have the whole smoke stuff. I mean, if there wasn't a smoke, I'd be building it up there. Obviously, you know, we need walls and stuff here, so it doesn't look like it's floating. Or carry on with this whole, um, you know, these, these things like that. To say that it's, you know, supported. The structure is supported. <laughs> But as that for now, I'm going to bring you guys back once I've done some more. Okay, so I'm just going to quick update. So this is the other side of things. This is where we're going to start to be constructing stuff. We're going to be making everything. So I have, uh, we have some storage over there. We've got for the iron and for the copper. So that's pretty much copper and iron production. That top bit is going to be removed. Um, and storage also. So that's coming all over here. Some junk everywhere. Um, I'm using the whole, you know, layering them up, you know, leveling them on top of each other rather than next to each other. So the output of this is coming through here, all the way through the top. And then all of the outputs are going to be joined together or probably sending them separately into their own storage I'm not sure I don't know if the connectors these um, the mergers or the the separators them would know how to filter out items I'm not too sure about that so I don't know if I could put for example like iron and copper on this belt and then have the outputs of iron and copper just going into an iron and or copper chest if you if you know if you can imagine what I'm saying so I don't know how I'm gonna set up the whole storage yet we shall see 
but this is the update so far so you know we have our iron coming from the top here which is coming down into here creating our iron plates uh, the next one along is creating our rods the next one along is also creating rods however its output is going into the input of this to create our screws like that so that is that for now I'm gonna carry on and I shall bring you guys back again okay so let's see how badly this is gonna go <laughs> this does this is awesome though this game is just awesome I'm wondering if it's the same sort of you know um, pleasure if in, in in Factorio as well I've never played Factorio so honestly I have no idea what is wrong with you my friend why do you not have why why are you flashing the balls and you're flashing Okay, so we have a copper wire just coming through. Our iron is being... Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, it's going to carry on going this way, isn't it? Oh, yes, it has to. Duh. Which is strange how it uh, is not. So I'm assuming... We uh, ah, we're gonna have this problem, aren't we? Okay, so it seems to be working. Um, I upgraded everything to Mark Two belts. Well, everything, just the, you know, the iron line, except for this uh, line here. Let's quickly do that as well. Keep an eye on things, right? So we have iron coming over there, going there. So I'm guessing it's there's probably a print. Just I don't, I, I still don't get it really. Between having the conveyors probably messed up, and between the conveyors probably being slow. I don't know. How's it looking here? So look, over here was sort of well. It seems that we're producing enough to keep up with the transport of the um, iron. Can I put these in? So yeah, I mean that to me looks like that we're keeping up with you know the, pr the production is keeping up with the transport and con and consumption over there. So perhaps there's like an amount uh, as to how many sort of splitters you can have on a line, perhaps. Anyway, it is working. Tell me what you think in the box in the down there. I'm pretty sure you guys have done more crazier and better stuff. So, yeah, <laughs> we do have something hanging off the edge there. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to touch it just in case I break it again. So I'm going to leave that as it is. It is working. I've kept an eye on it for a little while. We are producing all the basic stuff, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, over here we can probably get um, our concrete in. Or just have that sent somewhere else, really. Have it sent to uh, um, the closest point as to where I would be working. Uh, where I just need to pick up bags of cement. Now. Okay, so we are finally done. And it is late. This is like, I don't know, what, 2 in the morning over here. So we have everything is pretty much being automated. All I have to do is um, store the stuff. Can I put that? No, I can't. Whatever. So... It is making the stuff, 
it is making it slowly obviously I don't have the whole um, optimization going right now so just to give you guys a, a you know like a, an, an overlook as to what is happening these are these are going to be stored as well as these so we're getting our you know our reinforced iron plates which are also going to be on this track as well that track is going to go onto here as well so these will be stored somewhere so we'll have all three going on one thing um, the screws we are it's pretty damn slow for the screws by the looks of it which is strange really with, with, with the numbers it makes over there but um, what else is happening right yes well our screws are being split twice um, yeah our screws are being split up twice uh, as you can see this is this is pretty neat the way this came out I'm liking that this is a bit messy over here I could do it up but you know so are we keeping up I guess then it's a matter of probably using the upgraded tracks for them I mean this is just gonna get full that one is just gonna get full this is being used and these are also being used and then we'll go back back to these again so that is what it's looking like right now I just have to set up the whole space lift again clean this area up sort out my power cables I did have to make another coal power jenny over here which this is also in a temporary position I did put one slug in it moved our hub over here but I don't like its position to be honest I'm not liking the position I also need to you know bridge up the whole oh crap um, you know make a proper proper way up we fix that make it a better angle well those are just little bits and pieces really apart from that the base is working which is very nice we still have yet to put down the vehicle uh, building thing so we'll just grab those bits and pieces and we'll do that okay so we got all our bits ready place just needs to be touched up a little bit here and there that is for sure so let us see this truck station where should we put it okay so this thing takes resources as well does it mm. Tell you what, let's put it over here for now. And if we have time, as in before the weekend is over for this, we'll see if we can automate it. Okay. Okay, so this pretty much refuels our stuff automatically then. Okay, so it takes it also takes the inventory of the vehicles as well. So if we made our, you know, if we assigned created the path for our vehicle to follow to pick up items from somewhere to bring it and to drop them off, it will drop them off in here, which we would then pull out with our conveyors. However, I don't think it is that or fast enough to for example go pick up our coal and bring our coal back 
I think using the conveyor like this might be faster, but correct me if I am wrong. So I'm going to call it here, my awesome YouTubians. Hopefully you guys will like this. I don't know. <laughs> But we do have everything pretty much automated and sorted out and in place. So if we have time tomorrow, hopefully we can sneak in a bit of an exploration upload before, you know, they, um, you know, before the weekend is over. So for now, I'm going to go to sleep and I hope you all take care and I will catch you all on the next one.